Ready or not, Americans have just four years to go before the plug is pulled on the familiar incandescent light bulb. Jim Axelrod discovered some American scientists competing to develop new types of energy efficient light bulbs. As CBS reports, where America stands. When Thomas Edison opened the first electric power station in the United States in 1882, he could not have foreseen America's insatiable demand for electric power in 2010. Our report card on electricity consumption gives the U.S. a D. We consume 13,000 kilowatt hours of electricity per person every year, twice as much as the average person in Great Britain and six times as much as the average person living in China. And Americans are increasing their use by 30% a year. One of the biggest problems? That light bulb Edison invented in 1879. Light. Brilliant for its time, but virtually unchanged since. The incandescent light bulb is basically a fire in a glass bulb. Steve Denbars is the head of the lighting lab at the University of California at Santa Barbara. It's 95% wasted energy in the form of heat. Only 5% of the energy comes off as light. Of all the electric power generated in the United States, about 22% is used for lighting, and most of that power is wasted. Given the failing grade the incandescent bulb gets for efficiency, its run as our primary light source, long as it's been, will be coming to an end. The U.S. Department of Energy is imposing tough new efficiency standards for lighting, which will essentially ban the incandescent bulb by 2014. Its replacement, the curly compact fluorescent, saves energy, but is far from perfect. Not only does it contain mercury, a health risk, but many associate fluorescence with unpleasant light. That was a flop. And the reason was people really underestimated the impact of light on the human being. To find a solution, the U.S. government is offering a $10 million award, called the L Prize, to the company that builds the most efficient bulb with the most pleasing light. You have to have the quality and quantity of light of what you're familiar with and used to to really have a viable replacement. Tom Hamilton is senior product manager at Philips. The Dutch-based company submitted the first design to the L Prize contest. It features the light-emitting diode, or LED. LED lighting uses 80% less energy than an incandescent bulb and half as much as compact fluorescent lights. LEDs are semiconductors, similar to the chips used in computers and manufactured in high-tech clean rooms. Producing soft white light was one of the final hurdles for engineers. We've spent 15 years trying to perfect LED lighting to make it replicate the incandescent light bulb, and we're now at the verge of doing that. So looking at these, what do you see as a comparison of light quality? Well, at the end of the day, I think we've done our job here. So what's the catch? This, the main problem with LED lighting today is it's about $40 a light bulb. A hefty price tag. Even though the lights last up to 10 or even 20 years, and homeowners could save between $300 to $600 a year on energy bills. I will be optimistic and say that's been coming down almost 50% uh, a year. So just within a few years, that will be in the $5 to $10 range. Philips is not the only company in the game. General Electric has this prototype LED bulb and is expected to submit a design for the L Prize. Another possible contender is fast-growing LED manufacturer, Cree. While this incandescent uses 60 watts, this one here is an LED light, and it only uses six. CEO Chuck Swoboda has grown this once tiny North Carolina chip maker into a half billion dollar lighting firm. We're working on projects across the country, frankly around the world, where they're installing new street lights to replace those old ones that we had with an LED street light. In the middle of a recession, Cree expects to hire hundreds of workers this year. The difference between a regular light bulb and an LED light bulb, what you should notice is almost nothing. That's the key to making the technology work. The LED is clearly the near-term future of lighting. But when you look even further down the road, that's when you start to feel like you're watching a well-lit science fiction movie. This was dreamland, but we have made it into reality. Anil Dougal at GE's Global Research Center is working on the lighting of the future. We're still in the research phases. There's still some issues. You can see there's some black areas, but 
just trying to give you the concept of what, what this is going to be in a few years. It's kind of like wallpaper. Yeah. Dougal is developing OLEDs, organic LEDs, a thin film of organic material that's placed between two pieces of plastic and lights up when plugged in. So this is the revolution right here. OLEDs are perhaps five years from store shelves. Energy efficient and cool to the touch, designers envision these light panels as wallpaper, on windows, even on clothing. One of the things that's going to be so exciting about OLED technology is this concept of transparency. Janice Mahan Something works at Universal that... Display, an OLED pioneer. You could have a window that during the day lets your sunshine come in, and at nighttime you start to gradually turn the light level of the OLED panel up so that the window is actually providing your light. Ten minutes. Remember the transparent computer screens in the film Minority Report? Hollywood fantasy may not be all that far off. So this is all just prototype stuff. One day, much faster, much bigger, all these light bulbs in a roll. So after more than a century, America is finally turning one of its most enduring innovations into the next bright idea. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Schenectady, New York.